What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today Apple has released the fifth beta of iOS 18 to developers, and hopefully tomorrow they'll release it to public beta testers. In this video, I'll be showing you what is new inside this latest beta of iOS 18. We got quite a bit to talk about, let's get started. Alright, so the first one that you'll probably notice right off the bat is that we have a brand new Maps app icon. So Apple's constantly tweaking this app icon since it's been pretty ugly lately. Now it's even more uglier to be honest. I like the way it was in beta 1 the most. Hopefully they improve this icon because this one looks absolutely hideous. Now the next change has to do with your notification center. Going into your notification center, you'll notice that we now have dark mode icons inside of the notification center which I think looks a lot nicer. As people will now know that these dark mode icons are now the app icons that they should be seeing on the home screen right here, which looks really nice. The next change has to do with Safari. If we were to go inside Safari and go inside the reader view right here, you're gonna see we have a button that just says hide distracting items. So once we press okay, we can now tap on that and we will be able to hide it. It has a pretty cool animation if I say so myself. Now I don't want to hide that. Maybe we'll hide the toolbar. Maybe we'll hide this part. And yeah, it's just really cool. Kind of satisfying. I really like that effect as well. Just hide everything just cause why not hide. I'm just having so much fun with this feature. But yeah, I apologize. That is what we have inside this latest beta. I'm sure that will be a really fun feature to use, especially if you have like a bunch of ads for a website, you'll be able to hide those effectively just right away especially on fandom because I like reading fandom a lot. Now, next change has to do with the Photos app. They actually took a lot of feedback in with the Photos app. Ever since beta one, I kind of thought that the Photos app felt kind of janky, but I could get used to it. But at least they updated the Photos app to take advantage of feedback. I don't think Apple wants people thinking it's going to be janky, for example. So now going it down here, you're going to see we can no longer scroll left or right to get to certain views. I accidentally scrolled left or right when trying to scroll up and I had to scroll all the way back up very carefully. Now I could just do a full scroll up just like that. The scrolling view has basically moved down here so you have to like tap into your favorites and stuff like that or, or inside of your utilities. Which I think is a lot better behavior since I only accidentally scrolled left or right or on beta 1 when I had to see what was new. At least that was finally fixed in this beta. And along with that, the recent days has been shrunk a little bit, so it's now more scrollable. Going down here, it now says customize and reorder, whereas before it just said customize. Uh, now the next change inside this latest beta of iOS 18 is if you press the edit button, we now have an edit pages button. So you can, now it basically just goes into here. Meanwhile, before you would get into this view by tapping on the search button down here while in jiggle mode, which I think is a lot better way of telling people where to customize it. I wouldn't be surprised if they remove this way of getting into the edit pages view in a future beta. Really like that Apple added that in this latest beta. Now the next change inside this latest beta of iOS 18 is that we got a bunch of brand new glyph icons inside the control center right here. You can see that they are basically a lot bigger. A lot of them are now monochrome icons. If we go into the plus button right here and then add controls, you can see they just look a whole lot better now. They're monochrome. Meanwhile, before they were just the standard SF symbols and they look a lot better in here. You may also notice that a bunch of your SF symbols down here have been updated as well, which I think looks a lot nicer than it was before. Now, next change has to do with apps with widgets that have multiple sizes as the first widget. So the mail app has multiple sizes you can choose from. They have the medium size and the large size. Before you could not choose the medium or the large size, you can only choose the small size. Now you could also choose small, medium, and large. So if I tap that, it will show all my emails on the large size and that one will make the medium. And this one will just turn it back in the app icon, just like it was before. So at least we now have the medium and the large sizes that I need to update Willy widgets right here because it only has a small size for the tutorial widget. So yeah, I'll be updating that soon here in a future beta of Willy widgets. Now, the next change has to do with the Find My icon. So in the first beta, we got a brand new Find My icon. It looks like that. But in the latest beta, they updated so that the ring right here gets darker, which I think looks a lot better than it did before. Now, let's go to bug fixes because we got a big bug fix inside this latest beta. The frequently used emojis has finally been fixed. It's no longer the generic 2018 emojis that we've had right here for a while. It's now your actually most frequently used emojis, 
and I can even tell that it has still been tracking inside of beta 4, it just wasn't displaying right. So at least that has been fixed inside this latest beta of iOS 18 beta 5. Now, should you update to this latest beta of iOS 18, I say yes, go ahead if you are on a previous beta. At this point, if you're still on iOS 17, I would say hold out until the final release. You can wait if you waited this long, but it is pretty stable. I will give you that information. And uh, I'm guessing battery life is gonna be a lot better here. I can already tell battery life has been a lot better here in this latest beta so far. And I'm gonna guess it's gonna get a lot better after it's done re-indexing a couple of things. Wait, that is everything I could find inside this latest beta. Kind of an exciting update, especially with this feature right here, where you can just do that with that animation. I really like that animation. Let me know what you think about this beta down in the comments down below. And thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends. Download my apps in the description down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!